Welcome everybody, so I am back and bringing you guys a brand new movie review. This could be for John Wick. So John Wick is a movie star, John Reeves, as well as Willem Dafoe and a couple of other really, really good actors, especially John Leguizamo, who plays sort of an auto parts dealer. This movie is pretty much about a man dealing with the loss of his wife. You know, you see John Wick at the beginning of the film, you know, he just recently lost his wife to cancer or some sort of disease similar to that. He's really heartbroken over that. You know, he kind of looks at her pictures all the time on the phone, as well as, you know, the picture frames and stuff that he has in his house. He's kind of mulling over over the memories of lost a loved one, which I think a lot of people do nowadays. You know, if you lose somebody that is really close to your heart, you know, you're gonna be feeling the same emotions that John Wick has. So you can kind of relate to his character within this film. You know, this movie is really great in terms of the action and the directing of this film. I was not able to see this right away when this movie released in theaters just because I was living in California at the time, looking for jobs and stuff in the film industry, but you know, that is neither here nor there. When I finally got to see this movie, when I came back, this movie just completely blew my mind. This is the quintessential gung fu movie. So if you wanna know what gung fu is, it is pretty much kung fu mixed with gunplay, and this movie excels in that. Keanu Reeves hired the same team that he used for the Matrix franchise, which I really do love. I love pretty much all three of those movies, even though two is kind of weak and one and three are pretty much the best, which is usually the case in most film franchises. But that is neither here nor there. That'll be for a different review when I actually review Reloaded and Revolutions. I want to get to those at some point in time in my life. But this movie pretty much takes place in sort of a modern day setting. There's, you know, you see after the, the fact of Keanu Reeves kind of suffering from the loss of his wife, he goes to this sort of airfield and and kind of rides around his Mustang, which this Mustang is pretty badass looking. And I have an affinity for Mustangs and muscle cars and things of that nature. And this thing is pretty badass as well. You see John Wick, he is pretty much doing precision stunts and stuff with his vehicle. You can kind of get the hint that he is a little bit more than what he appears to be on the outside. Like you pretty much see him as a family man in the beginning, but you quickly realize that he is something a little bit more than that. And that little something is AKA the boogeyman or the Baba Yaga, depending on who you are talking to. And these Russian guys at this gas station where John Wick is pumping gas into his vehicle and approaches his vehicle. They're like, oh, is this car for sale? John Wick refuses several times. And they're like, yeah, everything has a price. And John Wick is like, not this car. And he's like, and one of the Russian guys said, everything has a price, bitch. And John Wick says in Russian, not this bitch. And that kind of surprises these guys because they're like, oh, what's this white guy doing speaking Russian? And they've never met John Wick before, even though their father has. And so they later learn that this guy is actually an ex-hitman and assassin, John Wick being one of the best. And his father kind of says, you know, after they kind of of home invade John Wick's house and beat him up and kill his dog, which I think is one of the most heartbreaking scenes ever filmed in cinema. It's certainly something that propels John Wick into killing a whole bunch of people in this film. And you don't really kind of blame John Wick for the things that he does to some of these people in this movie, just because everybody who's ever had a pet, certainly me, kind of understands that you go to the lengths just to find out the people that actually did that to your family, pretty much. And he's like, you just messed up with the wrong guy, dude. And that, you know, John Wick is not going to be coming after you. And it's not really my fault. It's pretty much yours for messing with the guy and the right Russian kid is like, you know, how bad could this guy be? You know, he's just, you know, an ex-assassin kind of like us, but you later learn they're all a part of the same sort of assassin organization and John Wick eventually does come after him in sort of a nightclub shootout sequence where John Wick is just taking out people left and right. You know, he kind of knows what to do in every single situation. Even when he's reloading, he's always thinking about who's going to be next in terms of who he's going to kill. And some of these sequences in this film where John Wick is falling off of like really high heights, you're like, how did he do this? Like, how did he come up with this action sequence that is just freaking astounding? And like I said before, a lot of that comes down to the stunt team that Keanu Reeves used for this movie. Like, they're sort of the best in the business. They've been around since the Matrix films and stuff like that. So they really do know what they're doing, especially with the car chase sequences and stuff that happens within this film. You know, this movie's just got everything. Eventually, John Wick finds and tracks down sort of the Russian guys that did this to his dog as well as stole his vehicle. He tracks down John Leguizamo and is pretty much at the auto parts store. And him and John Leguizamo are pretty much friends. And he's like, yeah, John, I didn't really want to do it. But, you know, they kind of made me and I kind of had to just because I'm kind of linked with the organization as well. And John Wick kind of forgives them just because they've been longtime friends and he kind of tipped them off of where they took the car after he refused to, you know, do the whole body work and everything and repaint the vehicle and stuff. So John Wick tracks him down, kills everybody, and that is where you see the final battle between John Wick and the main Russian guy who is the father of the son in this film. And that fight sequence takes place in the rain and also is sort of in a quarry. And this fight sequence lasts a really good long time. And then you finally see at the end John Wick gets a dog, a pit bull, which leads into John Wick chapter two. And I have to say from the actual sequence to the story to the music to the gunplay everything in this movie is really awesome if you have not seen this movie yet you should definitely go see it just because i highly recommend it you know the story is awesome i can't really say enough about this movie other than you know it is great this thing blew my mind when i saw it eventually on dvd and blu-ray and i think that anybody who's a fan of action movies who's a fan of really good storytelling you should definitely check this out just because it is really well done the screenplay for it is online it is titled scorn which is what the original title was for this movie and i think once keanu reeves brought on board you know they probably changed the title 
title for this movie to John Wick just because it sounded a little bit more, you know, like a movie title list, like, you know, something else. And I really do think that this is a well-known franchise that's going to be studied even after I'm, I've passed in the next couple of generations. I think this is one that's going to be beloved by a lot of different people. And, you know, it's already on its third movie, which John Wick Parabellum is actually as awesome as the first movie. My dad didn't really like it so much when I saw it in the theater with him, but, you know, I still love that movie. So I am going to give John Wick a plus. I think that if you're a fan of filmmaking, if you're a fan of practical effects, if you're a fan of really good quotes and one-liners like me, you're going to really, really love this film. You know, the mark of a good movie, like I've always said, is one that uses practical effects as well as really good quotes and one-liners. And I think it's something that you think about even after you've left the cinema. And John Wick is definitely one of those. And this movie has been pretty much elevated through pop culture now. So I think everybody kind of already does love this film. And there's not enough good things to say about this movie. So Keanu Reeves, you did a really good job in this part. I really do like some of your movies in the past. So if you're watching, a really, really good job as well as the stunt team and the visual effects department and everybody coming together to make this really, really cool movie. And one thing I failed to mention is The Continental, which is getting its own TV series, I think. The Continental is this sort of hotel sort of area where all these assassins go to and they're not supposed to, you know, attack each other. But eventually John Wick does and I think that was in the second movie. So I'm not going to spoil that for you just yet. I'm going to wait till I actually review that movie in order to kind of give you guys sort of that background that you need. But apparently a couple of assassins that try and attempt to assassinate John Wick while he's in The Continental, which is a definite no-no. You definitely do not do that. But I really do love this movie. I think this is a fantastic film. So definitely go see it if it's on Netflix or go out and buy it, which I think is definitely worth your money. So as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.